Vivian Kusalesio, Musa Safiano, and Mary Perpetual Bacha all work at the Tetequashi Memorial Hospital. They live their life each day in fear. This structure right here houses some health workers at the Tetequashi Memorial Hospital and according to the residents, this building has been like this for about three decades and more. If you watch closely, you can see that the building has developed huge visible cracks and any time it rains like this, as you can rightly see, the residents live in fear because they believe the building could crumble. The bungalow where they reside is not only too small to house the workers, but it is in a very deplorable state, posing danger to the occupants. 40-year-old Vivian Kusalesu has been working as a kitchen supervisor at the hospital for seven years. Anytime it rains, the roofing leaks. And when she's not at home, her room floods. It's been a headache for long. I've been wearing my medical suit and the management to do it for that. But according to them, they say they are financials. It's not found to be do it. I'm appealing to the government to come and do it for us. She told me efforts to get the bungalow renovated have proved futile. I'm afraid, you see, maybe this place, it can be fall. Because if you do the rain, according to them, this hospital now, I can say this hospital is almost 64 years now. Look at the relation. Maybe the water can be still falling. One day, maybe we'll get our enter and follow that. Maybe, purposely, my main problem is just the same. The relation of the underground. Musa Safiano, 36, has also worked with the hospital for seven years as a cleaner. Aside his 450 Ghana cities monthly salary, he sleeps in darkness at night with his wife and child. Getting access to electricity to his room has been a hurdle. The staircase was not in a good shape when I came here. I had to fix it myself. I don't have light in my room and I sometimes do side jobs to survive. Mary Perpetual Bacha as a lab technician. Having worked with the hospital for 10 years, the 42-year-old says she's frustrated about the living conditions, but she has no other choice. My fear one day that one day, one day, this building will fall. Because people have been here for 30 something years and there was no renovation. So we come. Me, for instance, I was staying at Obosumase. The transportation later, I moved to Odumase, always Odumase to this place. But they don't have accommodation. So I have to take this one like that. We are even at risks, even snakes and things. At times when you are bathing, you even see a snake also. I don't know whether they are also coming to bath. Mm -hmm. So we are at risks. The bungalow has several cracks and part of the roof ceiling is rotten away. The occupants say it harbors reptiles like snakes, thereby compelling some who worked at the health facility to pack out. The head of administration at the Tetequashi Memorial Hospital, Max Olabi, says the facility will need more residential rooms to accommodate their workers. We have accommodation program for our staff. Some of them are living in Accra, Ebri, Edukrum, and other places, and come to work over here. And when they close at night, it's very, very difficult getting back to their homes. Mm -hmm. So we wish if the government, the district assembly, or any private developer can come in to put up accommodation for the staff. We have a vast land over here which will be made available to them. Most of these health workers who fall under the Health Services Workers' Union live with the notion that they are not regarded as health workers. In instances like these, it confirms their thoughts. Godwin Asidiba, TV3 News, Equiaping Mampong, Eastern Region.